I have PTSD, and as we all love to celebrate the freedom of our country, please also remember to be considerate of our loved ones, neighbors, and our pets. Too. Hot dogs, cherry pie, and fireworks are all staples when it comes to the 4th of July. But what may be a fun form of celebration for some could be a reminder of traumatic events for others. Hi, I'm Lucy and this is Pancake. Thank you for joining us for another video and if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome to you. PTSD, fireworks, and the 4th of July. Post-traumatic stress disorder or PTSD is a mental health condition that occurs after a traumatic event and it affects about 8 million adults each year. Symptoms often include nightmares, flashbacks, anxiety, and depression that may be brought on suddenly by something that reminds the person of their traumatic experience. Mental health care is often needed to help the person manage their symptoms and start moving forward with their life. With loud noises, bright lights, and the gathering of a lot of people, fireworks can lead to July 4th PTSD. For those who have witnessed gun violence or veterans who have been in combat, the boom of the fireworks may remind them of gunshots and their traumatic experiences. PTSD light sensitivity is also a common problem, so the flashing colors from the fireworks may make symptoms worse. Even large crowds can be a trigger in some cases. So what to do about a loved one's PTSD on the 4th of July? If someone you care about has PTSD, it is hard to know what to do, especially during more triggering events like the 4th of July. But just being aware of how your holiday celebrations could affect their mental health could make all the difference. Just because someone has PTSD doesn't mean you can't still use fireworks, but just be mindful of that person. Give them plenty of notice so they can mentally prepare or distance themselves from the fireworks if they choose. If possible, set off fireworks in a more secluded place and try to avoid any of the over-the-top noisemakers. It is also important not to tease the person about their mental health or to brush it off. PTSD can seriously interfere with someone's life, but because of the stigma surrounding it, some people will never come forward to get treatment for PTSD. Your support and understanding could be the gentle push your loved one needs to finally get help and start moving forward with their life. How to cope with July 4th PTSD. For some people, their PTSD and the 4th of July go hand in hand, but it may not have to be this way. If the fireworks on the 4th are a PTSD trigger for you, Try these tips to avoid an attack and manage your symptoms. Stay indoors. It can be hard to avoid fireworks completely on the 4th of July, but if you stay inside, you will be better able to muffle the sound as well as avoid the flashing lights. This doesn't mean you need to isolate yourself at home for the whole day, but at night when the festivities begin, it is okay to slip inside until they are over. Be prepared. The good thing about fireworks on the 4th of July, if you have PTSD, is that you know they are coming. Take time to mentally prepare yourself in the days leading up to the holiday. When the trigger is expected, it will be less of a shock and have less power. You can even start planning for the 4th. Find out where the big firework displays are happening in town Think about where you can go to be more comfortable when the festivities begin and focus on ways you may be able to distract yourself. Seek support from others. You do not need to struggle with the 4th of July PTSD alone. Reach out to your loved ones for support and be upfront with them about your concerns. If they know in advance, you can be warned of triggering situations ahead of time and plan accordingly. They may also alter their plans to help you feel more comfortable. If you do start to feel triggered, your friends and family will also be there to comfort you. 
practice relaxation techniques. Because PTSD and the 4th of July can go hand in hand for some, it is important to know what to do if you started feeling upset or overwhelmed. Breathing exercises, muscle relaxation techniques, mindfulness, visualization, and medication may help you address rising feelings of anxiety or panic before they escalate out of control. Everyone is different. While fireworks on the 4th of July can be triggering for some people, others may be alarmed by someone walking up to them in a grocery store. No matter what your triggers are, please get help somewhere and from someone and from some place that can help you deal with your PTSD on your own. And there are many others who are struggling with this and other conditions similar to this, so you are not alone. And there are programs that provide you with the tools you need to learn to better manage your systems so you can move on with your life. Reach out to someone today to learn more and to get started on your road to recovery. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would greatly appreciate it if you would please kindly give me a like, comment below, share with others, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to be alerted of every time I upload a new video. Please come back to see the next one. Until then, bye for now and be blessed.